Hey, what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm bringing you the world's first benchmark comparison between Windows 7 and Windows 10 technical preview. As you can see, the differences are absolutely minimal and they should not be really taken uh, simply because there is absolutely no difference between them. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my testing methodology and also uh, be uh, explaining you my system. So as you're able to see, I am running on Ultra with uh, uh, anti-aliasing deferred off um, and I'm running at 144p. My system runs an SLI 680 system uh, with an i7-3770K overclocked to 4.5 GHz. I also have 16 gigs of RAM. The Windows 7 um, game was running on uh, my Corsair Force GT SSD and the um, Windows 10 technical preview was on my uh, reasonably old Samsung hard drive. I can guarantee you there's absolutely no difference between the hard drive and SSD in terms of FPS numbers and uh, benchmarks. The only difference is loading times, that is loading times of the game and of course loading times of Windows start down and shut down and everything like that but in terms of game performance there's absolutely no difference. So what can we take away from these results? Now the results as you able, as you were able to see at the beginning were absolutely identical. There were no differences between them and the variation is something that you should really take um, with a pinch of salt simply because um, the differences are so small that it could be anything from literally a chopper blade blowing up in a different way. So. Those differences are something that I wouldn't go away saying Windows 7 or Windows 10 is better than the other. If there was 5%, 10%, possibly more variants, then I would have said yes, you should take it away. So I previously proved that Windows 8 didn't really bring that much of a performance boost and I did various benchmarks to prove that. So what should we take away from this video and these benchmarks? Well, it's quite simple. Remember, Windows 10 is a technical preview is released literally this week and more so um, DX12 which is the one that's going to be really boosting up that FPS is not really implemented either from DICE nor from Microsoft um, themselves. So DX12 isn't being um, useful for fluorition and therefore you can't expect a better result. I just wanted to see just for myself and therefore share with the interwebs to see if the if Windows 10 was getting better results, but as I had probably as as I'd suspected at the beginning, there is absolutely no difference between the two. So take it as you will, try it yourself. You can try the exact same benchmark. Make sure you go into a multiplayer map with zero players in there and um, uh, try it for yourself and compare uh, if you can, like I do, on two separate hard drives. Anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully it's been informative to you. Uh, if you have, make sure you like, um, favourite, share it, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff uh, as it always helps. And um, yeah, these fine and closing screens are simply my GP usage which were identical in both. Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed. Take care. Bye bye.